Here's my little winch mechanism. It's uh, being made up with laser cut wood parts. Uh, 100 to 1 geared 12 volt DC motor. And the nylon gears are about a 15 to 18 ratio. So the overall gear ratio is probably about 110 to 1. At the moment it's running on 3 volts, drawing approximately 20 milliamps. Uh, and that's fast enough for most work. Right. There's 6 volts, 9 volts. And 12 volts. Vibration just because it's moving around on the table. If it was taken off the table, it's not too noisy at all. The size. Uh, just under 40 millimeters wide um, over the end of the motor shaft and just under 30 millimeters long over the gearing. So nice and small it can be fitted into a uh, model crane quite easily of these smaller scales. Uh, running on 3 volts pulling half a kilo of solder. There's the solder coming up there. Currently running on 3 volts and drawing 50 to 60 milliamps. Okay, uh, now what I've done is I've connected the winch up to a Digitrex DN135 decoder just for a decoder test and just wind the throttle up. The throttle's at around about less than one quarter. You can see it's running quite, quite well. Okay, I'll run it up a bit higher. Throttle up to about half setting, halfway. You can hear a little bit of motor noise, uh, and that's due to the decoder. That's there's full throttle. Okay, so the motor's probably got about 12 to 13 volts on it. Let's back that down. So I've got good speed control over it. Let's just see how much power it's got. As you can see, it's running very slowly. The feedback on the decoder now with the uh, deco feedback type decoder. It's pretty powerful, I can't stop it, so I'm very happy with that. So, adding a decoder to it will give you uh, excellent speed control and obviously direction control as well. So, you can see there, it's got to be careful I don't unwind the cotton. Now, just flicking the reversing switch. So there's just on about quarter throttle. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that ran. Thank you for watching.